is an ancient alien satellite orbiting Earth. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Earth's orbit is crowded. On October 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first man-made satellite. This technology grew from a top-secret tool of espionage to an irreplaceable piece of modern life. Everything from TV signals to driving directions can come from these gizmos hurtling through space. Yet despite their popularity, satellites remain shrouded in secrecy. As of 2008, the U.S. Air Force estimated that about 10,000 known objects orbit Earth. Estimates of active satellites can range from 1,000 to 3,000 or more, and that's just counting the acknowledged ones. Sputnik may have been the first man-made satellite, but what if there was something else up there already? Here's where it gets crazy. Enter the legend of the Black Knight satellite. The story goes like this. In 1899, Nikola Tesla picked up repeating radio signals which he believed came from an intelligent source in space. Ham radio operators also picked up the signals, and Norwegian scientists began picking up LDE, or Long Delay Echoes, during experiments with radio waves in 1928. Newspapers reported a dark satellite in 1954. Shortly after the launch of Sputnik, U.S. and Soviet forces detected a satellite in polar orbit, but neither side knew where this satellite came from. The story hit the papers in 1960. Fast forward to 1973, when an author named Duncan Lunin analyzed the LDE data from Norway. Lunin originally claimed this data showed a 12,600-year-old invitation from Epsilon Brutus, in 1998, astronauts aboard the Endeavour reputedly took photographs of an unknown object. Today, these photographs are available on NASA's website. That's how the story goes, but there are problems with the legend. First, while Tesla did find radio signals, they probably came from pulsars. Secondly, Duncan Lunin didn't have the Black Knight or any satellite in mind when analyzing the LDE data, and he later retracted his initial claims. So what exactly is this thing? Here's one theory. Air Force Secretary Dudley Sharp claimed the object was a lost casing from part of the Discoverer satellite program. It sounds mundane, but there's more. In 1992, the CIA declassified the real story behind Discoverer, a spy program known as Corona. The Corona satellites were deployed in polar orbit because they'd cover every part of the Earth. This secrecy could explain why the Air Force and NASA didn't speak up earlier. Still, many people don't think the Discoverer explanation is sufficient, and who can blame them? World governments don't exactly have an impressive record when it comes to transparency in space. Consider the United States X-37B orbital test vehicle, an unmanned shuttle whose missions remain classified. While stories of ancient alien satellites may not hold up to scrutiny, there's no secret that Earth's orbit is chock full of stuff world governments don't want you to know.